So for me, I try and do the same thing every single time. So like if and we can just pretend it's a right IJ port, although I don't know if the steps are any different from my left side. So uh, right chest wall port, I uh, always use ultrasound guidance to access the IJ. If for some reason the IJ is out, I don't have a problem doing an EJ. That would be a little unusual with oncology patients, but you know, it can happen. So Lido, and I, I lay down a lot of lidocaine. Um, I don't know about you, but I am not shy about putting in like a lot of lidocaine. Like that, that's one of my pet peeves when like I, we don't have enough lidocaine on the table. I like a lot of lidocaine for ports. Um, so a lot of lidocaine, dermatotomy with the 11 blade, IJ access with a micropuncture. Um, one of the things I do for micro or for access in the vein, and I, this was a Vanderbilt thing that someone showed me, I think it was from Bream, is that he always like coaxed me to like bring the vein to like the far end of the ultrasound image. So like mm -hmm. that way you had a really yeah. short throw. Like, I mean, I, you know, like whenever you think of the picture, you think of the, like the, the vein right in the middle, but I access in the traverse plane. So where I see the whole needle along the length, but like I just bring the needle to the very edge. So if you're looking at the ultrasound screen to the left edge, so it's a real short throw. Yeah. And I don't know what that really does other than that. Like it just creates like less skin and everything Whoa. to tunnel through or to, yeah, it's less yeah, tissue yeah. to tunnel through. I mean, you know, and sometimes if they've had any kind of line yeah, before, there's a lot tissue. of scar there. And, and you know, but just to step back to the lidocaine thing, I mean, you, nine times out of ten, when patients going to hurt during a Medipore placement, it's when you're putting that sheet, yes. when you're dilating and putting that sheet mm -hmm. in at the dermatotomy site, that's where they hurt. They don't even hurt really in the when you're putting the... The, the, when you're creating the pocket. Um, but yeah, so I think it's, like you said, it's important to put a lot of lidocaine down there. And it's funny, the the whole, I, I do it subconsciously as well. And I guess maybe that's where I got it. Maybe from Bream as well as with the whole, get, getting that um, that vein right on the edge mm -hmm. of the ultrasound screen so that you're popping right down into yeah. it and not having this big, long needle no, no, You don't want to like create a long throw. That's it. And plus it also, yeah. on the back end, it for whatever reason, I feel like it creates like a nice curve whenever you do like a nice short, access uh, yeah um but yeah i feel like bream must have beat it into us because that's where i get it and nice and low oh right yeah yeah access no no, no 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 that's yeah. like that's amateur hour man i i like i mean i also read diagnostics and whenever i read uh like you know port placement and then i see like the access like looks like they access someone like near the mandible um it's just like makes you cringe but yeah so like right above the clavicle and then angled down i mean a, a friend of mine jokes yeah. that he angles at the confluence of like the subclavian and the ij <laughs> but um yeah I'm, I'm all about a low ij stick so all right so then so access uh access micropuncture set i will uh do an intravascular measurement i don't know if you do this but i basically have the wire the micropuncture sheath in and then I put the wire exactly where I want it, like where I want to land my port uh, catheter. And then I pull that wire back and create like an intravascular measurement. Um, does that make mm. sense? Yeah, yeah. So, and I think, the, I don't know if that was a Vanderbilt thing too, but I um, I, I learned, uh, Jim McElmary taught me that technique um, where to, to basically measure the wire. Yeah. And then you use that uh, to measure your your catheter. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you about something I picked up later. That's a little bit different. Where I stopped doing that, but yeah, I used to do that for a long yeah. time. I mean, so I so I just use the wire to like measure the intravascular length every now and then. Like if yeah, like sometimes I forget, and then you know, I don't have any problem laying the port down on somebody just to like give yourself an estimate, you know. And then you just have like the port external to the patient, and you just put it over where you want, and then I'll snip there. Um, but a lot of times I just do an intravascular measurement. If I am measuring from the left, like, and I have like that intravascular measurement, I usually add two centimeters for like a fudge factor. Um, I've, right. I've just found that like adding those, whenever I think about like ports that you have to revise, like I can think of a lot of ports that I've revised because they were too short. I just can't think of any that I've ever revised because they were too long.